Hello everyone, this is Ashish and today we are going to play a game. The game is called Star Mark Question and we are going to see how this technique of Star Mark Question can help you improve your revision, can help you focus your preparation towards a particular competitive examination. I've talked about it before that if you are focused towards any particular competitive examination, be it anything, GATE, Engineering Services, ISRO, BARC, SSCJ, BANK, PO, ITJ, any examination, you have to solve previous year questions, right? Now, it is not that you are going to solve the previous year question only once. And a lot of people have this misconception that I'm going to complete my study completely. I'll study for six months and after that, I'll start solving previous year questions. That is again going to be a huge mistake. Don't do it like that. You have to solve previous year question like after every chapter, you solve the previous year question of that chapter. All right. Now, it is not that you are going to solve the previous year question, a particular previous year question only once, but it is not like you are going to solve every previous year question again and again, two or three times the number of times you are going to revise. That is going to be impossible because let's say every chapter is going to have somewhere around like 50 questions and then there will be somewhere like 12 to 15 chapters in a particular subject and then there's going to be 12 to 15 subjects so you are not going to be able to solve thousands of questions like five six times it is stupidity you do not do that and i will not suggest you doing that but also there will be some questions that you need to solve multiple times over there star mark question comes into the picture now i want you to pay attention over here so let us say there's a question 4.37, 37th question of the fourth chapter. Any question is there and as usual, there will be four options out of which one option will be correct. Now, the first mistake that most students make, the amateurs and the beginners make is that let us say C is the correct answer. So they are going to solve it over here. They'll get the answer as C and they are going to tick over here. That's the biggest mistake that you can make because maybe you're never going to see this question ever again because you solved it in one go. I do not suggest you to go through this question and try to solve it again because it was so easy for you. The concept was so good in your head that you just solved it in one go. So you are good with this question, but still, it might be possible that you were not able to solve it in one go. You face some difficulties in that you will be seeing this question again, let us say after one month. When, when you come back over here after one month, you are going to have a preconceived notion that the answer is C. Then your head is automatically have a direction of thinking that the answer is C, which you are not going to have during the actual gate examination or ISRO examination, whatever examination you are targeting. So we do not want that right so what you are going to do instead let us say you are brilliant you were able to solve it in one go you saw the answer okay the answer is c only i'm going to ask you to put a tick mark over here just near the question put a tick mark over there instead of putting a tick mark on the option all right now this is a question that most likely you are never going to see again why because you were able to solve it in one go it proves that the concept was down to your blood right now let us say in case you were not able to solve this question in one go okay what do we do if i'm not able to solve a particular question you try you try for 10 minutes you try for 15 minutes and then you discuss it with friends you discuss it in whatsapp groups you discuss it in any group that you can get telegram group whatever it is you discuss it with others and if you still cannot get an answer you just look at the solution you look at the solution and you're going to find either of two things maybe the question was wrong right that happens a lot of times too but maybe it had a complicated concept that you just couldn't have gone through right so every now and then even if the material is perfect there will be every now and then cases in which you are just not able to get to the answer in that case go through the question and the solution and then solve it but okay you have solved the answer you got the answer to see you will put a tick mark but this time with a star mark all right you'll put a star mark this means that this question is important and during the revision let us say after one month you're doing the revision you're going through all the previous year questions you are leaving every previous year question that does not have a star mark but you will solve from scratch every previous year question that has a star mark right so two things will happen the next time you visit the same question either you are able to solve this question this time properly because the last time the concept that you were lacking in you worked on that and now the concept is down to your blood or it can happen 
that you were still not able to solve it all right so that concept is a double star question right so next time it becomes more vital now if you were able to solve it what you're going to do is just cut the star mark all right it's no longer a star mark question you're never going to get back to it again but if you were not able to solve it again making the same conceptual mistake again you are going to give it another star mark now let us say after one more month you come back you are revising the same subject and you come over here you come across this question okay this is a star mark question other questions i solved it in one go but this is an important question this is a kind of question in which i make mistakes so you are going to solve it again from scratch and this time if you were able to solve it then you cut one star not both the stars you just cut one star and then you come back to it revising after like one month or after some time and then again if you were able to solve this question in one go without looking at the solution because after one month if you can retain that concept and you can solve that kind of question that means that you have gained that kind of concept and now you are able to solve it on your own because you cannot memorize a particular thing for that long okay so if you are able to solve it again then cut it again and if you are not give it again another star mark this is the game that continues all right now you will be seeing a lot of questions in which you are having three star or four star those are just mug up type questions and by the end of your preparation let us say you are already in december preparing for gate examination you'll see like there will be handful 10 to 30 maximum of all the subjects which are having like three star and doesn't matter what you do you are never able to solve that and to that i'll say just mug up the concept it is very rare that those will be like super ultra difficult questions and this is what a lot of aspirants do not understand nobody was able to solve all the questions even those who got the top ranks in any competitive examination like two to three percent of question no one will be able to solve 10% of the question will be extremely difficult. It is impossible to gain that concept with limited amount of study material that we study. And we cannot go for unlimited infinite study material because we have limited amount of time, right? So this is what you do. The three star questions, the two star questions will be extremely vital. The number of times you revise, this is how you revise. When you revise the first two cycles, you revise your class notes, but later on and even during the class notes revision you just go through your previous year question again and it does not mean that you will go through all the previous year questions only the star mark previous year questions so i hope that you got a concept properly now there are multiple kinds of stars okay now this is a blue star this is what i used to do blue star for uh, for conceptual mistakes okay now these kind of questions i'll be making conceptual mistakes and i'll be putting blue star it completely depends on you what you give the nomenclature as but this is what i used to do blue star for conceptual mistakes red star used to be there for silly mistakes now there will be a lot of questions in which you will be making silly mistakes right now those kind of questions what you need to do put red star in so that the next time you see you understand that these kind of questions you make silly mistakes in so be super careful while solving that kind of question the next time all right so these are not conceptual but still nonetheless you are going to lose marks over there and maybe even worse because you knew how to solve the question but you were not able to solve it because of silly mistakes so you are training your brain to not fall in the do in those kind of traps again now there's a third kind of star that i used to use and that is just a small star without a circle around it and that meant for me as a remember kind of question there will be a lot of theoretical questions also right in competitive examination less in gate examination more in engineering services and SRO examination so you will put these kind of marks and uh, over time you will just the next time you go through it you will just try to keep on memorizing it because there will be four options and you are smart enough to not tick over here so you will just try to recall what is the answer you will turn back and you will see that okay i was right or if i'm wrong then again another star or if i'm right then i'll cut the star if i'm right twice i'll cut the second star simple game helps every time i used it a lot extensively while i was preparing for this row examination the second and the third time it's a good method of revising previous year question in most of the branches is more than sufficient for you to solve but this is just there are just so much previous year question available and it is so much relevant to solve those questions if you are preparing for competitive examination that 
we should not be doing much other than that all right at least i can say this for mechanical engineering other than that if you want to solve more questions test series is the best way to do it because over there even though those questions have never appeared in any competitive examination you are solving them time based all right so i'm just going to end it by showing you a few of the things that i used to do so over here you can see this is my previous year question bank back when i used it for 2018 and you can see so many star marks over there like these these three star marks basically means that this is a mug up kind of question all right these are extremely difficult questions and what i'll do is just one week before the examination i'll go through these and these will be like hardly handful like 10 questions like this okay i used to give other star marks too like for example this practice meant that these kind of questions for example in isro you'll have to solve without calculator and you have to solve it like in one or two minutes so you have to have good practice in these kind of questions all right also like you you can see over here that i used to cut the star once i've solved it and also sometimes I used to write it that in which other examination it has appeared gives you an idea of which examination is important like for example I'm preparing for ISRO that's how I found out that yes engineering services type questions are also coming in ISRO examination that knowledge comes from you solving all kinds of questions other than that I'll show a few of more uh, yeah so over here also you can see that there are three stars over here and this LA basically meant for me as look answer. So if there's something that I want to write down or I want myself to remember the next time I forget that how to solve this question, I'll just write something in the answers. Like right after a particular chapter, there will be answer keys, right? And over there, you'll be turning anyways to switch the solution. So if you have some your own input over here like this, then you can put it over there. So that next time, if you, even if you forget, you do not need to maintain separate notebook. A lot of people do it like this, but it will be very difficult for you to just carry it and match it that which question is where. So the best way is to do it right here, but you cannot write it right here near the question. Otherwise, you will be having again some preconceived notions. All right. So this three star question you can see over here, there was not much concept to understand it. I, I eventually found out the concept about it, but it was very difficult to memorize and it was it was already repeating in some of the ISRO papers. So I just mugged it up one week before the ISRO examination. And by the way, this only works for ISRO examination, engineering services examination. It will never work for BRC, ex sorry, gate examination because the questions over there never get repeated, even though the concepts get repeated right so i just memorized and this question actually appeared again in ISRO 2018 so it helps every now and then and over here you can see there's a conceptual star and at the same time there's two silly mistakes star and it will stay over there until unless i solve it three more times on my own by revision all right so i hope that you get an idea of how you need to be solving previous year question and what is the whole philosophy of star mark question I try to make it as simple as possible for you guys to understand but if you still have any more doubts comment it down below in the comment section and I'll be happy to respond to each and every one of you. Hey my microphone battery just ran out so I charged it up and came over here again. See uh, what I was saying was that recently and for a long time I've been getting a lot of messages that they said that I wish that I found your channel a long time ago it could have saved me a year it could have saved me a lot of time and um, uh, recently like yesterday only i got a comment that i wish that i watched your video before i quit my job because you make a lot of sense and i i think that i made the wrong decision and i wish that i would have watched your video before i did that see what i recently discovered now that my channel is genuine that is not something that i discovered but what i discovered that it is not actually reaching the kind of population that it should all right there are multiple reasons for that i do not use thumbnail clickbait i do not say like subscribe comment in the beginning which it does help all right for that dumber population it helps so for you to get a lot of population uh, and a lot of viewers but the thing is that I don't do that so the numbers is not going to rise and to be honest I'm not going to change all right I'm not going to ever say that please like comment and subscribe and 10 times in between the videos I'm going to say that please like and please help me for the YouTube algorithm it's not in me all right what I would request you guys is that you genuinely if you like the video if you learned a lot and definitely you watched 15 minutes worth of video you definitely learned something new over here that is why you stuck till the end I just request you guys that take it as a responsibility to give it a thumbs up 
take it as a responsibility to share this video as much as possible in whatsapp groups in your friends with your friends on facebook whatever you can to help this channel to just support this channel because i know for the longest time i have known this more than anyone else that this channel has been producing genuine content because that is my target that is my target to produce true pure content for people who are preparing for competitive examination so there is never going to be any adulteration in that you know that i've not even taken any sponsors have you ever seen sponsor you think that i'm reaching 100000 subscribers i'm not getting any sponsors there's so many coaching institutes giving me sponsors day and night i just, just don't even read their mails there are like 10 of them right now in my spam or there's like at least 5 of them i've said no straight up in just last month it's because i do not want to just sell something over here i want to bring genuine content and if you believe in me definitely help this channel grow all you have to do is hit like and share it as much as possible that is my request other than that if you can support this channel even more there's a join button down below it's the best way to support this channel and we are having a good community over there and in return i also give you back with a lot of content like engineering and scientific content like nuclear science and engineering and rocketry uncut footages behind the scenes and all that if you are interested in that click on the join button to know more and that's about it for this video i'll see you all of you in the next one till then bye <laughs>